Money Vikings, welcome back. I got a, a very interesting one, I think, for you today. And hopefully this is something that will help you save a ton of money that really adds up over time and also helps build community in this country, which is sorely and badly needed in this day and age. We do live, you'll see how these dovetail in a minute, but we do live in a um, crisis of loneliness in this country. Uh, a lot of people report being lonely. We have seen the breakup of communities over the years and the breakdown of community. Um, I believe personally that the pandemic did a lot to also further degrade the sense of community that was in our society. It's probably been a long time coming. There's a um, book called, I think it's called like Bowling Alone. It's something about something bowling. Um, but it's uh, this concept that back in like the 50s and 60s, there were the tons of these bowling clubs and churches and other things. There were all these communal things that people did together. And that has time and again, strong community networks and ties have shown to improve uh, overall contentment with life and also improve wealth. So that's why we that's why we talk about it. But what I'm talking about, though, today are buy nothing groups. And if you haven't heard of them, you probably need to hear about them if you are on a true wealth journey, because I have a lot of personal experience with them that I'd like to share with you. And uh, they're just an amazing uh, resource for saving money, uh, helping out people in your community, helping reduce waste and things that are going to landfills and things that are going out and being dumped in the ocean and basically getting into our um, ecosystem and getting basically back into our bodies as toxins. That's the one thing that people sometimes miss about the environmental movement is that it's not always about the environment, it's about the plastics and the toxins and the forever chemicals that are actually getting into our food supply and then getting into our bodies and minds and causing problems, health problems of all kinds. So it's not just about hugging a tree uh, or, or, or caring about some little animal, um, it's about the health of the environment for us as humans. Um, so that's just something to, to keep in mind. Um, so anyway, buy nothing groups, what are they? <clears throat> it's described as a hyper local gift economy. It's essentially, they are these regional or community groups that are set up typically on Facebook. There's also an app, check out the buy nothing app, uh, because it can be done through that as well. A lot of them are done through Facebook, uh, through social media and anyway, you have two choices. You either, uh, peep your, your neighbors and the people in your community, not your direct neighbors, but people in your broad, a broad community. There's these sort of, I would say, at least where I live, it seems like it's about a five to 10 mile radius around where I live is, is the buy nothing community. And what happens is you can look on there and people put items up for free. Okay, absolutely free. There's no money exchanging hands. These are just things that people have either uh, don't uh, need anymore. Um, the classic examples are like clothes for children that they've grown out of, right? So they've bought these clothes, the children have grown out of them. And if they're gently used and they're clean, why not give them to another family that can also use those clothes? It reduces waste and then it saves that family money. Now, so that's one thing is you can put things on there. No, you can go on there. I'm sorry, right, reverse that. You can go on there and you can find things that are being put up for free. And what happens is you put your name in, I think you put it in the comments on the Facebook and you say, I'm interested. Maybe you say why, or you send a, a message. It's all in there. And then the, um, the giver, then selects a recipient. And it's totally, they can do it, sometimes it's done by numbers, um, sometimes it's done through, uh, you know, sort of explaining why it is you need something. Hey, I've got three kids and blah, 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 and I could really use these clothes, whatever it might be. But anyway, they'll, they choose you sometimes. You don't always get everything, but if you, usually if you keep trying, you know, you'll, you'll be picked sometimes, just kind of, it's a little bit random, can be. 
Um, and so you get picked and then you schedule a time to go pick up the item. It's typically left on the front porch or in the driveway or whatever it might be that's left in a bag, has your name on it. You just go pick it up and it's really cool. I mean, you can find things that you really need and you're not spending a bunch of money at the store. We all know new things are actually very expensive. Um, you know, Money Vikings, has ta we've talked a lot over the years about how much I like thrift stores and have found things at thrift stores over the years. So anyway, buy nothing groups. What, it has been a force multiplier. It's been part of our inflation defense systems over the last couple years. Instead of buying something, we're able to get it free. There's everything on there. Home furnishings, home decor, clothes, electronics, collectibles, uh, what I've seen everything hats, um, books, oh, children's toys, um, you know, uh, maybe like uh, uh, things that like older folks need, like walkers and wheelchair type things that people don't need anymore, office supplies. Honestly, I've seen so much. I I've seen designer handbags on there before, talking Kate Spade and. Prada type stuff. So really crazy, actually. That, that that can happen. That's rare, but that can happen. So I think there's a couple of things that are really powerful about these groups, okay, that I want to share. So we obviously live in a society, and it's not always a bad thing, but there's a lot of consumerism, okay? But the problem with consumerism is that oh, it, it, can, it can degrade your ability to build wealth, um, a lot of people are putting these things on credit cards, so it's actually, you know, it's actually putting them in a hole. Um, and it's, it's just not overall always healthy to just always be consuming. Um, and the other thing I've found is that it's a way of expressing gratitude. If you're the giver, so on the other end, you can give things. If you're the giver, you're expressing gratitude, you're paying it forward. Like if you raised, I use the example of the kids clothing. If you use those clothes to raise your child, isn't that a nice feeling that you helped someone down the street? save a few bucks and raise their child and give them the clothing they need or whatever it might be. Um, you know, it's that's all really good stuff. And it started, the, um, one of the co-founders, I believe her name was uh, Lizel Clark, and it was co-founded uh, out of near Seattle, out of Washington State. But I think it's nationwide now. Uh, I looked up, some, did some research, there's probably about 1.3 million users on the app. Uh, which is a lot, but really, is, we live in a country of 350 million. My God, there's a lot of room to grow here. Uh, I think there's about 8,000 of the face, Facebook groups, which are, like I said, they're kind of community, regional uh, focused. But th this co-founder and her and her friend, um, I think the story goes, they were at the beach with their children, and they were just noticing all the plastic that was washing up on shore. And so that was part of their drive, I think, in the beginning, was to find a way to reduce plastic that's going in the ocean. And like I said, that's actually ending up eventually in our bodies, so that's not healthy. And we all know a, a life of true wealth is, is about more than money. Money is a critical aspect, but obviously our health is also important. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, like, you know, guys, like I need like to keep these videos under 10 minutes, keep them bite-sized ways for you to build wealth. But uh, yeah, that's it. Check out your local Buy Nothing group. I would highly recommend it. Again, I, I get a sense of community out of it. I, I find different uh, areas of, you know, within a 10 mile radius of where I live that I, streets I'd never gone on. Um, and you kind of see new houses. Sometimes there's not a lot, but sometimes there's a little bit of interaction with the, uh, with the giver and the recipient. There doesn't have to be, it can all be online. You can just, you know, they put it out front you go pick it up. You don't talk to anybody. Um, but sometimes I'll, you know, the person will be in their garage or they're clearing out, they're doing spring cleaning, whatever it is. And it's kind of nice to say hi and have that kind of communal feeling. I do believe that's important. So, Hey, appreciate you watching. Watching. Please like and subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel and the more it grows, the more uh, content we can create like this where we're providing every single thing we can think of in terms of personal finance, investing, etc. So with that, I uh, hope you're having a great summer and being safe out there and bless you all and thank you for watching. Take care.